Mic check one two one two. Cloud tokens here. Make sure you subscribe for more content. If you don't, I will harass you in the comments. This is a known fact. Do not test me. Alright, so look. Down of Nicki Minaj. This is who Nicki Minaj is today. And if any barbs is in here, this is your queen. <laughs> okay. This is Nicki. Anyway, she Tuesday. Oh, it was Thursday. I already left to New York. She says you gonna be in New York this week. I said yup. Listen me, yup. I'm in New York. I'm sorry. She said, then today, 3.55, is, um, 3.35, which is Eastern time, Standard Time, you've been mad since I made a joke about you with Joe on my show. The people you rep. Who the fuck do I rep? Does Nikki think I'm in a gang? Yo, Nikki, I'm not in a gang. Wait, hold on. Don't get me. I'm not in no gang. I don't know. No gang members. I'm not in a gang. Like, <laughs> salute to the Treyway dudes and, and salute to 6 9 I guess. Like, that's not me. <laughs> He said, the people you rep, who am I repping? The people you rep won't be able to stop, won't be able to stop your jaw from getting broke. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna lie. When she said that, I said, fuck. <laughs> Yo, could you imagine, like, Nikki typing this shit on some Queen Radio shit? Send. <laughs> She said, I know too much about your family for you to be playing with me, you ho-ass rat. Where you at now? I was so flabbergasted. Yes, flabbergasted. I said, I hit her with a bunch of laughing emojis. I said, no, did. <laughs> Nigga, I had to take a screenshot immediately. I said, like, she got to be hacked or something. By the way, if you don't realize the message above this, I was giving her compliments because I guess she does watch Everyday Struggle or something like that. And she was like, yo, thank you for keeping it real. When you say, when you dick suck her, she likes you. Trust me. When you dick suck her, she likes you. So, like, I think she had dropped a feature for, it was a Transformer free, um, remix. And I said, and I remember I said on Everyday Struggle and I continue to say even on stream that, yo, she bodied that, which she did. Like, she does body features. Like, I've never said she doesn't. I just say that, she relies on features to carry her at this point in her career just because, like, she's not making hit records anymore. That's just a fact. So I had said that. I could even, maybe I even say out of the screen. So she had complimented me, like, yo, thank you for for being a real nigga, blah, blah. I said, it's all good. I said, yo, to keep it real, yo, that was one of the, you're having a really good feature verse run in the last couple of years, which she liked, you know? But um, everything unraveled, I guess, on Thursday. All right, man. Yeah, this is the next one right here. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I said noted. Wait, let me just. I said noted. She said, "Where you at?" <laughs> Yo, Nikki gangster, bro. Nikki gangster, bro. Where you at, nigga? She wants some location, nigga. So I said, New York, <laughs> as I said before. You feel me? I said, uh, your threat is received, LOL. Because I can't even tell if she's serious or not. I'm like, uh, okay, all right, LOL. <laughs> You're serious? Uh, and I was like, we'll see each other at some point, I'm sure. Take care, babe. I don't want to, you know, like, take care, babe. Hear what she said. Exactly, ho! Still sad, Takashi ain't here no more, so you could try to get a stink feel on his booty! Nikki, you should really have a lot of respect when you even mention 6 ix 9 name. Like, you literally, like, begged to get a song on your album that you could sell some more records. Like, you were flapping. He didn't tell me that either. Like, I did the math before. I'm sorry. I have some industry sources. It's the reason why I predict albums pretty well, okay? Anyway. Okay. She said, don't talk down. She said, no, don't talk on a woman. Then run from a man. I'm glad it's received, rat. What the fuck I read about? I'm tired of this. What I write about? I ain't write about nothing. <laughs> she said, it won't be the only thing you will receive. Okay. <laughs> Big bad Nikki. Here we go. This shit is hilarious. Okay, here we go here. Watch this shit. Uh, is this the other one? No, 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 no. That's three. What was the other one? Four? Okay. Th this one. So, so she says these these little like funny. I'm going to just call it Barbie emojis. Like these are funny. I don't know. She's just like, ha ha ha. Like she's laughing too. I, 
Shit, we we both laughing at this point. Like, I, like low key, I thought she was trolling. <laughs> Yo, to this point, <laughs> I'm thinking she's trolling, <laughs> or she's hacked. The trolling hack. So she hits me with the emojis. I'm like, okay, whatever. So anyway, I, I, so I hit her with a laugh joint too. I said, bro, sure, bro. I said, just don't don't hit me with a woman card though. Women, I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. But stop acting like everybody who says something bad about y'all don't like women. Like, you know, like, bro, you could get criticized. I'm sorry. Now, if they're criticizing you based on something that's specific to women, uh, maybe. But, like, if, if I'm saying, like, your songs ain't hitting the same, you, you am, am I wrong with that? Y'all niggas don't act like I'm wrong. I know y'all. Y'all be selling me out. <laughs> but am I the only one who think that Nicki song's been whack unless she's featuring just doing a verse? Nicki could still rap her songs are whack. Nicki could still rap features cool her songs by herself are whack. I'm going to keep saying it. So I said, sure, just don't play the woman card on me. And I had to let her know because she wanted to teach to get on Queen Radio. This bitch nigga don't criticize no men. Stop it. I didn't criticize no men. Chief Keith, Lil Reese. I didn't criticize me and Dirk. We was at it before. Shit, I didn't criticize Meek Mill. Me and Meek Mill really got into it. I didn't criticize all the men in the industry. Now it's just like, oh, I'm a woman. Don't criticize. What? What? Don't do that. That's corny. That's mad corny. That's just don't play that angle on me. Because I criticize Meek Mad Times and I, and I applaud him these days for a lot of the social justice shit. And I could still criticize him again because I criticize him for linking up with Jay-Z on that shit. I think that's a little shady. I'm sorry. Meek got a joint. Meek got a song on a song called, uh, he, he got a couple lines on a song called Trauma. I could pull it up right now and I'm going to criticize it. I'm not here. Like, y'all niggas can't buy me out. I don't know what Nicki be thinking. The whatever bullshit you on. And you be dealing with other bloggers. That's why I told you I'm not on the female picking side shit. I'm Meek. I was criticizing him a lot with how he handled Drake shit. I love the music. I always praised the music while he was bouncing back. He was, yo, he was acting like a nigga with that was an underdog. He was killing it. I love wins and losses. I like DC four. I like the four for four joints he, he dropped. Them shit is crazy. I still play him to this day. Y'all know what I'm trying to turn up. I still play him. Now, he, with his prison form, by the way, he's not a felon no more. Salute to him. But does that mean that I got to dick suck him or, like, not criticize him? No. The next I'm just trying to ask. But that's Nicki Minaj. I want to shine the mirror on all y'all favorite rappers. They're like this. They're not like... They're, they they want to control this shit, and I understand there's a lot of money at stake. And for Nicki, I could sit down and have a decent conversation with you. If she felt like anything and she want to ask questions, be like, yo, I felt like you were trying to... Just push a narrative to, to diminish my brand and, and be unfair in certain type of things. I would have that discussion with her. But she don't want to have that. What she wants is unilaterally niggas sucking their dick. It will never happen with me. You, you got to get me out of here. You got to get me out of here. I, I never, I, I don't get mentioned in any of these hip hop, whatever it is. Like, yeah, niggas, they love to say as soon as they mention my name, act why we care about his opinion. You know why? I'm the audience. I'm the audience. You can't buy my opinion. You can't buy what I really think about it. I'm going to criticize. Like, listen, I'm I'm glad, like, even now, I'm, I, was, I felt honored when Drake said, yo, act. Yo, what you want for my next album? You think if some if Drake did some fuck shit, I wouldn't criticize him? If you want to feel some type of way, you're going to feel some type of way. Drake ain't never put a dollar in my pocket. I never ever felt, like, so cool that I'm glad that y'all are messaging me. Oh, y'all niggas message me now. Eminem just responded to me. It don't matter at this point. I only just say this now because I, I see Nikki is the worst of what we have in the industry. If you don't dick suck them, if you don't go with their agenda like you on their team, like you on payroll, they now trying to get so offensive that me and her, we could have cussed each other all day. Like, yo, yeah, I think you this, I think you did, buy right, whatever, whatever. Oh, shit. Now she on, nigga, where you at? Let's pull out. Now we talking, we not talking music. So I, so I end the conversation. We not talking, we not talking about nothing. I was, I just want to tell her on that last one, I said, don't play that woman card on me. Don't get on no queen radio and say there's men out here just trying to make you look at, there's not, it's not me. If there's other niggas, it's not me. Don't do that to me. I don't sit here and just only pick on women. I pick on everybody who I feel is doing fuck shit. 
and niggas could like me or hate me, but they got to understand that I always do it as fairly as I see fit. And if I don't, I'll take that criticism. This niggas who felt, felt like I wasn't as critical. Y'all met Trippy for the first time. Sure, don't, don't. So I told her, I said, sure, don't play that woman card on me. I criticize your ex, Meek, mad times. I've been, crit I've been complimenting him recently. But I seen him do some other shit. I'm about to criticize him again. Don't, don't make it seem like niggas is against women. That's the easy way out to get out of shit. I'm not going for that. I criticize everyone. I told her that. I'm petty though. I'll be I'll stand with that too. I'm petty. You while you talking to Joe Button, my name wasn't in the mix. You made it clear you had to throw in the chipmunk, the oh the blah blah cool cool cool. Then you're like, oh, don't you think his platform blah blah be influenced by oh whoa The same way how you feed your family, you feed your husband, you feed your husband's family. I got families to feed too. You think I'm going to let you get that all because you just got more money or uh, you're a woman or whatever? No, I'm going to defend myself. Now I'm going to be petty. Let me be petty. And let me show people shit about you. If I'm wrong about something I'm showing about you and you point it out, I'll, I'll admit it. I'll be like, yo, I'm wrong. I shouldn't have said that. When I'm, when I'm telling the whole world as I am right now and I'll continue from here to whenever that all your records that you don't have a feature, you're flopping. You're flopping. That's facts. You're flopping. Megatron to debut at 20 and then it fell off the charts in three weeks. That's unprecedented. That's me hating? That's me being mad? No, that is me being petty. It's like you were being petty. I don't care what they call you queen. I don't care whatever. I, I don't care that they call Eminem one of the greatest of all time. I don't care that Drake my favorite. I don't care that Jay... Like... If I was supposed to look at all these media niggas, they're pussy fighter Jay-Z. Jay-Z, right now, I'm not saying he's wrong all the way, but if you can't critique Jay-Z and you can't at least ask questions to find out answers, which I see none of these niggas doing, you're fucking just pussy. I'm not, I don't want to be that. The day I'm that, I could tell you right now, I bought my mama house. I've done decent for myself. I would just walk away. If I can't be authentic, if I can't be just me, if I can't be real, if I can't, if the people who supported me, who expected a certain thing and the reason why I came here, I can't do that, I'll walk away. So I had to let you know that shit because you clearly must think. I told you and you'll see in the next, you'll see in the next slide. Hold on, let me get, let me get to it. This shit is passionate to me. Because I think in her mind, she might think that, oh, oh, Cardi is sending, sending, I can, no, nigga. Cardi don't pay my bills. None of these niggas pay my bills. I'm out here for myself. I owe one thing to the audience that, uh, the people who rocked with me. All these motherfuckers, I could tell them, you, I don't care who you told my Ebro, Charlemagne, DJ Envy, name anybody you really care about. I love Carl Cherry, but still, all these niggas, they, they got their position and they got importance by some other niggas believing in them. They got allegiances. They gonna have that loyalty. Me? Yeah. Complex did help me get on the high level, but at the end of the thing, at the end of the day, if it came down to my integrity or just rocking with whatever might be good for Complex, y'all seen that already with, with, uh, with, uh, with, um, what's the name? Scissor. No, I'm gonna stand on that. So when I see when I see Nikki trying to like, the first thing I'm looking, I'm like, yo, what you think I'm gonna do? Like just fucking apologize and just cower down? Oh, it's cause you say like you gonna have your your boyfriend kill me? My nigga, like niggas in Chicago wanna kill me. Niggas, mad niggas wanna do something to me. Like, what you think I'm gonna just go like fall back? No, nigga. The, the last joint. It's the next joint right here. So I say, yo, I criticize everybody. I said, I'll, and I'm petty. I know how to dish it and take it. So you can call me chipmunk this and third. I know how to get petty with you. But it, here's the difference. You triggered. You bothered. You can't, you, 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 like, it's itching you. Like, nigga, like, we see it. Oh, I'm retiring. Oh, I'm not retiring. Oh, I'm it's itching you. It's making you feel a certain type of way. That's the difference between you and me. Niggas call me fat every single day online. And do sometimes be like, man, uh, damn, yo, these things always on me. And then I look at it, I say, yo, I'm blessed. And I sit back and I, 
I realized it comes with the game. So with you, the bullshit you wanted, let me read what she said. So I told her, I said, I give it, I, I give it and take it. I criticize everybody in the game. Don't, don't you, I hate, listen, salute to the city girls, hot girls, whatever, summer, whatever y'all talking about. Don't try to lump and disregard niggas like me like we only pick on women. We pick on everybody. So she says, okay, cool. My husband want to speak to you. Send your Addy or your phone number. Nothing left to talk about. The last line said it all. We don't got nothing to talk about because I don't know what I could talk about with your husband. If you felt, and I'm just speaking very candidly on what I've seen, your husband is a nigga get ganged so wild. If you felt that's where we at with it, you shouldn't. You don't even have to tell me that. You don't even have to. You don't even have to inform me. I, I don't need to know that. But there's nothing more to talk to if I'm not talking to you. When your manager was G. Robinson, whoever, I never hit them to speak. I never. I never knew your management. There's there's only one time you ever reach out to somebody else to speak to me, and that person y'all ain't that cool no more. So in reality, when you're telling me to speak to your husband, who's not a musician, about a lot of stuff that I've critiqued you on on music, you've already told me where you at with it. So it's it. So, you know, I sent one more message, really. I said, listen, just like how you take offense at shit all the time, I take offense not at name calling because I didn't want her to, like, lead that conversation and think, oh, I called this nigga fat or I called him, like, a chipmunk and, like, now he, like, saying whatever about me. I said, I take offense not at name calling, but you acting like I'm some female gossip blog who cares about appeasing any fan base or making anybody look bad, whether it's for or against you. Your Atlantic conspiracy, Atlantic Records conspiracy, and whatever else that makes you feel good about the energy you're receiving, trust me, I posted Nikki was retiring and everybody in my comment section celebrated. That's not me. That's the energy you're giving out, baby girl. The reason why you feel some of these insiders are saying whatever about you is the energy you've given out. The reason why some of these artists are saying stuff, the reason why you have, you have, like, I mean, I don't even really want to name drop a lot of people, but who's you shorty? I don't even remember her name, but all these people who are speaking about their experiences with you and they're giving context to shit, it's because of you. It's not because of them. It's not because of me. It's because of you. So I was just telling her that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> anyway, um, and I think this is the last one. Y'all love how passionate I get about this. I'm sorry. I love this shit. <laughs> I love this shit. Okay, and the last one. I said the Atlantis conspiracy theories and whatever else that make you feel good about the energy you're receiving from fans, insiders, and some artists ain't got nothing to do with me. I have to make it clear to her. I'm team me. If you were Cardi B, if you were Drake, I would treat you the same. And I love Drake's music. Drake is my favorite artist. But if Drake came at me at like this, I would have to treat it the same. My nigga, what you want me to do? Just, oh my God, it's a, oh, Nicki got her gang so wild. No, nigga. So she then says, okay, send your number or your Addy. My husband want to discuss something. That's not okay. I had to let it. I said, yo. I said, also, you already know my addresses that I frequent. Nicki Minaj's fans has leaked every address that I go either once a week, twice a week. Every place I be at. Nigga, I didn't switch up. Don't. Why are you asking me? You know it already. Your fans has done that. I said, also, my number's already leaked. And and you know how I know she she already had my number? Because her husband texted me two minutes afterwards. You got my number already. You're trying to do an intimidation play. It's corny. It's corny. You never did that to Cardi. You never did that to anybody who you so-and-so had problems with. But I see what it is. Y'all feel y'all, oh, this is, oh, we can test this nigga. I said, also, you have my addresses that are frequent and, the phone, and my phone numbers already. Your fans leak them every two months, and I sent her heart. You just listen to how tough Nikki sounds? If I were you, I'd send my number because you going to make it worse. But okay. I sent her heart, and that was the end of the conversation. There was nothing more to talk about. Still nothing more to talk about today, not tomorrow or any time after this. You want to get gangster wild with it. You want to get gangster. 
Okay. Y'all ask what I'm gonna do? Hit up couple people, get some security, make sure I'm moving a little bit right. Okay, but get gang said, wow, you're not gonna change me, Nikki. That's corny. Now I'm gonna point out how corny this incident was. You gave me when this is what people didn't understand when I was giving criticism of Nikki. I had ex I had one experience with her before this. Now I've had the experience with her. So when I'm speaking, I'm not speaking on a place of just guessing. I'm speaking on how somebody dealt with me. Nikki, this isn't queen behavior. At least if you want to send the goons or try to kill a nigga, you send your peasants, aka the bobs. But speaking of the bobs, if any of y'all are therapists, please give Nikki Minaj some free counseling sessions. Because she need it. She's emotionally distraught. She's having mental issues. It's obvious. She's lashing out at everybody. I mean everybody. Everybody who talks about her or who had an experience with her always say how Nikki treated them badly. This can't be a coincidence. She has to be some type of bad, nasty person. So earlier, DJ Academics, who was a hip hop blogger, went live on Twitch saying how Nicki Minaj DM'd him, threatening him, threatening to get her husband to pull up to his doorstep with goons, New York Queens Project's goons, and handle them however they're gonna handle. So she was talking like she was big and bad a gangster. And DJ Academics wasn't backing down apparently. So earlier, DJ Academics was on Twitch, basically exposing and leaking the DMs of Nicki Minaj threatening him. And he was just exposing how she's a nasty, disgusting, petty person behind the scenes but to her fans she act like she's this nice nice sweet victim and he says a lot of artists are like that now he has a lot of inside connects to where he know a lot about the personality or the things that artists do so basically he was saying how Nicki Minaj ain't shit pretty much and how she really hates Cardi B and she does a lot of things behind the scenes and blah 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 but apparently Nicki Minaj just learned how to be a gangster because all real gangsters know you don't leave a trace you don't threaten this man and then when something happens to him it might not even be something she did or set up everybody's gonna say she did it because she has DMs threatening him so that's very stupid on her part. But for all the bobs out there and the regular hip hop fans like me, let me know what y'all think. Is Nicki Minaj out of line? Is she so emotionally fucked up that she's just going off on everybody now? She doesn't even care about her career, her image, or anything. Let me know what y'all think.